This is going to be part one of two. I'm going to talk about signatures. This is critically important if you're going to buy a painting. Now, let me explain why. The signature is, believe it or not, probably the least important aspect of a painting. Now, you're asking me, why is that the case? Well, I'm going to explain. The real signature of a painting is not the signature. In this case, it's over here. Is It's actually the imagery. The imagery, the way the paint's laid down, the subject matter, the date to some extent of, way, of, the, of the type of paint that's used. This is all going to tell you if this thing is real or not. Use the signature as the last. And this is a classic example of why you don't want to do this. So a client of mine showed me an image on his phone and said, I want to get the shark cleaned and fixed. It's got some problems. I want to get it fixed. I said, great, let me see the image. He showed me the image and I went, it took me maybe a half of a second. And I said, well, uh, this is not a shark. This is something else. If I were you, I wouldn't clean it because it's not worth it. And he goes, it has to be a shark because look at the signature. Right there at the bottom, it has J.H. Sharp. And we looked at it and I said, well, in reality, it says J.H.S. Harp. So this was an individual who lived in the 19th, 20th century, who was painting paintings and was signing his real name. And you can see right there, it says J.H. Sharp, but it really says J.H.S. Harp. Now, in this particular case, the signature is correct for a heart painting, but not for a sharp painting. And in his day, apparently, when Harp was painting these, Joseph Henry Sharp wasn't too on, was not very pleased with this because he was getting confused with harps, and harps clearly are not the same quality as a sharp. So if you look at this painting, and one of the reasons I knew instantaneously it's not a J. Joseph Henry Sharp painting, who was a Taos artist, is one, the subject matter is just doesn't, isn't what I would expect in a sharp. Yes, he would do teepees, but he would do them in uh, Montana or the Crow area, and he would do them very differently. Usually they'd be large, or if they were, they'd be very well executed. You wouldn't see all these trees. So this is a very gloomy, dark uh, palette. The trees are not very well done. The painting is it's okay. It's a, it's a person who could paint, but it's not a great painting. And that has to be your tip-off right off the bat that you have a painting that's not what it's supposed to be. Now, sometimes you'll see paintings, and I've seen it many times, and I'm going to talk about this in part two, that are correct paintings, but the signature is incorrect. In other words, the painter, the artist, forgot to sign the painting, and somebody else signed it along the way. And we'll talk about what the problems are on that. So let's just talk a little bit more about this painting. So this painting came up at eBay. My client paid um, several thousand dollars for the painting as a sharp. Now, if we look on the back, and I'm just gonna flip it around, you'll see right here on the back, there's an old signature that says, an old tag, not a signature, that says sharp, okay? They attribute it to sharp. Now, when this was done, who knows? The back is correct, this is old, it's all original. You can see it's got old wire. These areas that you see on these here, those have to do with puncture marks, they were, uh, these are little, uh, like you would do on a tire, you know, to fix the little area. And you can see the crackle or so it's clearly an old painting. And I'm sure my client looked at that. He goes, oh, well, it's an old painting. You see the old wire. Everything looks good. It's got the old tag. It's signed correctly. Yeah, well, but it's not a sharp. It's a harp. So don't be confused by a sharp or a harp. Look at the imagery. Do some research. If you find a painting you like and it's done by an individual artist, you can do a couple things. One, you could look at Ascart. There are examples of signature, but when you see these examples of signature, it doesn't tell you the time frame they were done, and all artists change their signature. Again, in part two, I'm going to talk about how artists change their signature and why. Look at the imagery first. Always look at the painting itself. Make sure it is what you would expect the artist to do subject-wise, color-wise, paint application. If you don't have enough uh, knowledge to do this, then go to a dealer, go to somebody who knows, and just don't buy it online expecting to get something for a bargain because it's usually not going to happen. are brought to you by Medicine Man Gallery, located for over 26 years in Tucson, Arizona, specializing in antique Native American art, 
early Western art, including the famed Maynard Dixon, as well as modern art. You can find everything online at medicinemangallery.com. There's over 6,000 objects to select from. Also, the Charles Bloom Murder Mystery Series, written by yours truly, me, Mark Sublett. There's six books in this series, and they follow the protagonist Charles Bloom through all the intrigue of the art world set in Santa Fe and the Navajo Nation. These can be found on Audible, eBooks, Amazon, and of course, the gallery at medicinemangallery.com.